Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, as you may know, testosterone is a good thing, and high testosterone means feeling and looking younger. And you're also much healthier because youthful testosterone levels improves your cholesterol, your blood pressure, your blood sugar, and many other health ailments. Now, in the past, I've spoken about a variety of ways of naturally increasing your testosterone levels. However, it does you no good to increase testosterone if you're still doing all the things that are killing and lowering your testosterone levels, right? So today, I'm going to quickly discuss the top 10 clinically proven testosterone killers that you must avoid. And in future videos, I'll also discuss each one of them in detail. Plus, at the end of today's video, I'll also reveal one of my most potent ways of naturally increasing your testosterone levels in minutes and more importantly, keeping it high so you continue to get all the benefits day after day and month after month. However, before I continue, if you aren't already, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now while it's fresh in your mind because I've got some very important videos coming out soon about this and similar topics and I don't want you to miss out. All right, so let's discuss the top 10 things that reduce your testosterone that you just must avoid. All right, the first one is stress. Listen, increase in chronic stress is one of the biggest testosterone killers. In fact, if you don't sleep for one night, all right, then take a testosterone blood test the next morning, I guarantee that your testosterone levels will easily be at least 50% lower. Now, when under a lot of stress, your body releases high levels of cortisol, the stress hormone, and cortisol blocks the positive effects of testosterone. Now, what's interesting is that most people think that the opposite hormone of testosterone is the female hormone estrogen, but it's not. It's cortisol, the stress hormone. Now, obviously, you can't eliminate stress, right? But there are a lot of lifestyle changes and specific vitamins and herbs that you can take that will help lower cortisol levels and obviously decrease your stress. The next one is poor diet. Listen, diet plays a major impact on your health, especially all of your hormones, including your testosterone. Now, you want to avoid uh, prepackaged foods. You want to avoid uh, soy and low-fat and low-carbohydrate diets. You also want to reduce your sugar intake, especially high-fructose corn syrup. Now, most of us eat enough protein, but we eat way too much of the wrong kinds, uh, such as dairy, dairy is bad for you, and also you know non-organic, non-free-range meats. Now, your diet should also consist of at least 25% of healthy fats, and this even includes saturated fats, such as those found in egg yolks and coconut oil. They increase testosterone. Also, forget about the super low-carb or no-carb diets. Eat carbs every day, especially vegetables. Listen, both too low or too high uh, carbohydrates, they both decrease testosterone levels. Next, we want to talk about nutritional deficiencies. Listen, even with a healthy diet, most people are not taking enough nutrients to reach peak efficiency and thus increase testosterone levels. The combination of poor food choices, overprocessed foods, and poor farming practices has resulted in a food system that provides substandard nutritional support. Now, there are supplements, herbal extracts, and nutrients that help fill in the nutritional gaps in your diet. From general components of your you know, daily you know, vitamins and minerals to the nutritional support of clinically proven herbs like testosterone boosters and hormonal balancers. Next, we want to talk about the lack of exercise. Now, listen, one of the easiest ways to boost testosterone production is with exercise. Simply put, the right form of exercise increases testosterone. Just the same, the wrong forms kills testosterone levels. Now, basically, you want to lift weights and build muscle. That helps increase testosterone. You want to eliminate strenuous cardio sessions like running, which lowers testosterone. Fast walking, lifting weights, and yoga all help improve your hormones. Next, obesity. Listen, having too much body fat has a lot of negative consequences for your health. One of the main problems with higher body fat is that your fat cells produce estrogen, and estrogen lowers testosterone. Sadly, the older we get, the slower your metabolism and the harder it is to lose body fat. All right, next, we have alcohol. Listen, as your liver processes alcohol, it produces compounds that inhibit the release of testosterone. Unfortunately, just even one or two drinks results in a decrease in testosterone levels, as well as an increase in estrogens and cortisol levels, two things we don't want. 
Also, beer is the worst because the hops in beer contains more estrogen than any other plant on earth. It's horrible, right? So if you're going to drink, don't overdo it and stay away from beer. Next, we have medications. Listen, the side effects of many popular medications is definitely adding to the rapid decline in testosterone levels. Uh, some of the commonly prescribed medications, such as statin drugs, which are used to lower cholesterol, are indirectly contributing to low testosterone. Uh, blood pressure medications, anti-anxiety and antidepressant drugs, antacids, heartburn meds, and so many other prescription drugs all reduce testosterone. In addition, a lot of estrogen-based medications used by women, you know, end up in our uh, water supply, again, such as birth control pills which unknowingly impacts us guys. So it is essential to be aware of your intake of medications and their potential unintended impacts. Next, we have a lack of sex. Listen, sex is a natural way of keeping your endocrine system stimulated and boosting your testosterone levels. Now, with a lack of sex, your body is missing out on the opportunity for these natural surges in testosterone. In fact, simply having an erection can quickly boost your testosterone levels. And yes, this also works for elderly men. Now, one study showed that elderly men, you know, again, over the age of 65, who had more sex also had higher testosterone. And then we have female hormone mimickers. Now, female hormone mimickers are found in almost everywhere, including things such as skincare products and personal care to household cleaning and outdoor products, right? In addition, they're found in our foods, uh, commercially raised meats and poultry and soy products, even flax seeds, as well as food wraps and plastics. Now, these feminizing chemicals mimic estrogen, which of course limits your body's production of testosterone. And finally, we have age. Now, one inescapable influence on your testosterone levels is unfortunately aging. Now, according to the Mayo Clinic, testosterone levels peak during adolescence and early adulthood. As you get older, your testosterone levels gradually declines and typically about 1% to 3% a year after the age of 25. So listen, guys, by the time you're in your mid-40s, you're only producing 50% of what you used to. By the time you're in your 60s, your testosterone levels are less than one-third of what you had in your 20s. And by the time you hit 80, you may only be having about 15 or 20% of what you had when you were younger. However, normal aging is only one component of many lifestyle factors that lower testosterone. So it is still in your control to boost your testosterone at any age. Unfortunately, Listen, you can't stop aging, right? However, you can make all the improvements I've suggested today to slow down the aging process tremendously and obviously improve your testosterone. And if you click the special link below in the description area, you can actually watch the next video about a very simple and clinically researched solution that's proven to increase your testosterone levels and improve your hormones at any age, naturally. Well, guys, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your comments and questions below. Also, don't forget to click the link below in the description area and watch the next video on how you can quickly and easily improve your hormones and your testosterone levels naturally. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.